Y'all, what's up? It's your boy Nitro Hot Fire here. Welcome to Nerd Torch TV, your Monday through Friday spot for anime, comics, and gaming. And today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different than what I usually do. We're going to be talking about weight loss. And the reason for that is because I actually was on this diet called the Ketogenic Diet for my Eddie Gordo cosplay that I'm working on. If you don't know who Eddie Gordo is, he's the Capoeira fighter from the video game Tekken and he is dope, super OP. That's who I'm going to be. Anyway, warning, I would like to let you guys know that if you are diabetic, do not watch this video because this diet is not for you and it could be dangerous for you. So don't even worry about this. There's plenty of other videos about anime, comics, and gaming that you can go watch on this channel. So just go ahead and go watch some of those videos right now. But for everybody else who may be interested in losing a couple pounds to possibly make your cosplays look a little bit more dope or fitting into an outfit that you probably don't fit into anymore, this video may be for you. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So this is a disclosure letting you guys know that I'm not a dietitian and this is just from my personal experience and the research that I've done on my own. This is a brief guide and review of the ketogenic diet also known as the keto diet. When I first got on the diet out it was August 1st 2016 and as of recording this video which is October 30th I went from 195 to where I am now which is 160. For a while I actually I had the time to work out so I gained a little weight and I hurt my knee as a result and my friend actually was on the keto diet before me and I saw that he practically shrunk down so I was like hey I need to try that because I need to get off my knees I need to get this weight off my knees rather so after seeing his results I was like hey let me try out whatever you did and then he told me about the keto diet so let's talk about how our bodies actually work for a second so on a day-to-day -day basis our bodies use carbs and sugars or carbohydrates and sugars to fuel ourselves or rather to give us energy throughout the day. We use those carbs and sugars for energy and the excess is actually stored as fat until we need it at a later time. And we all know we never need it at a later time. Now when you get on a keto diet, all that means is that your kidneys are now producing what's called ketones and your body enters a state of ketosis. Now what that means is that your body is now burning fat for energy instead of burning carbs and sugar. Now this is a warning for all you ladies out there who may be watching this video. When you are on a keto diet, you will be burning fat all over. That means stomach, boobs, booty, and thighs, you will be burning it all. All of it will shrink. So if you drop a couple bra sizes or your booty gets a little bit smaller than you will have liked, please don't come right into my comment section because you have officially been warned right now. The reason I know this is because me and my wife did it together and that's what happened to her. So, you have been warned. You should enter a state of ketosis between a day and a week's time depending on your body. It took my wife about a day and a half and it took me about five days. Now, you can determine whether or not you are in a state of ketosis by using some test strips that you actually have to pee on. And they're called keto sticks. Now, you can get these from your local pharmacy or Walmart. I actually got mine from Walmart and I, they were close to the pharmacy section. It was a, there was a dietary section at my Walmart that's close to the pharmacy section. I actually stopped at the pharmacy to ask them if they knew where they were and they pointed them out to me because I didn't know what they looked like. Mine looked like this. It is rely on ketone test strips thingies. So you may want to go look for that. Now in order to enter a state of ketosis, this is the best part that you guys have probably been waiting for is what do I eat? So in order to enter the state of ketosis, you want to stay completely away or stay as far away as you possibly can from carbs and sugar. That means you can't eat things like uh, bread, rice, potatoes. Those things are loaded down with carbs. You also want to stay away from fruit, sodas, and juices. Those things are loaded down with sugars. And make sure you stay away from condiments like ketchup, sweet and sour sauce, or mostly any type of sauce for that matter because those things are usually filled with what's called high fructose corn syrup which is a fancy word for sugar stay away from those things so basically to simplify this or oversimplify for that matter you just pretty much just want to eat meat and vegetables now for the meats that i ate i ate bacon beef uh chicken wings and ribs sometimes i had fish and for my vegetables i had broccoli cauliflower lettuce spinach and uh, sometimes I ate salad, stream beans, um, I ate those. See, those are pretty much, I kind of kept things simple. I just stuck to a certain amount of things that I just ate every day. And for a snack, I have 
almonds, walnuts. Uh, you can't eat too many of those because those also are filled with carbs. And uh, beef jerky, I had some of that, but you have to be careful for some of the beef jerky actually has sugar in it or brown sugar. But uh, for me, it was never enough for it to actually do much. So you, you probably don't have to worry too much about that. If you have a restaurant in your community called Burgerfy, like we have here, they actually have a lot of cool burger options that you can have there, as well as they will serve you your burger, what they like to call green style, which instead of buns, they will actually put your burger between two big old chunks of lettuce. And I recommend it because it's very tasty, and plus, since you can't eat bread, this may be a good substitute for that. You can also eat burgers from other places, you just can't eat the bread that's on them. Like I said before, I pretty much ate the same thing for two and a half months. I went from 195 to where I am now, which is 160, and I know my Eddie Gordo cosplay is gonna be dope if I do say so myself. If you have any questions that I have not yet answered, please put them in the comment section down below. Also, Go to nerdtorch.com to pick up an awesome nerd shirt that I did design myself if you want to support me and my channel. Thanks guys so much for watching. It's your boy Nitro Hot Fire here, and I'm out. Peace.